Hey guys, it is Scotch Four Dumb Scotch. Four, four dumb. guys on a journey through Scotch to help you guys with your Scotch purchases. That's right. We and today we guys. have. And today we have a one you probably need to purchase. Oh. <laughs> Wolfburn. Wolf this Burn. is the Wolfburn Morven. So. Quick two cents about Wolfburn. First of all, they're about as far north as you can go before yeah. you have to take a ferry off the main part of Scotland. Um, they're way up north, right? It's the end of the road. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, they look out, they look to the north and they see the Orkney Islands. That's what they see. So, um, on a good day. <laughs> yeah, on a good day. More of it. The distillery, uh, old distillery, used to be standing there a long, long time ago. Uh, it went away and was put to rubbles, whatever, right? Some people decide they want to rebuild it, and they did. They found the, the old found distillery built within a couple hundred feet of it, yeah, or yeah. 100, 150 yards. Anyway, 2013, clear. Wolfburn is back up and running. Um, their master distiller, Shane Frazier, happened to give us a good interview not too long ago, and we learned a little bit more about the distillery and what they're doing, and they're doing some we, cool stuff. I love we, it. We learned a little bit about a lot of I stuff. I love the way they're doing their stuff. But anyway, what's interesting about the Morven, so they've got three expressions out right now, you guys. Mm. Now, a, a core range expressions. They've got the Northland, which was the first one, which was, it's peated, but it's peated by its maturation. Was that our first? Yep. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. was our first one. So they peat it by putting it in Lafroy quarter casks, which is a pretty cool way. It was really It's good. good. Um, then they also have an Aurora, yep. which is sherry. At 48%, uh, by the way. Right. And now they've got their Morven, which is lightly peated in a more traditional manner. Um, and it is 46%. Natural uh, natural coloring, non-chill filter. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's natural almost color. So, clear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> almost 2013, so. guys. So, you know, I mean... Obviously, it's three years old. I think what you're going to get out of this is... I think this one's probably four-ish. You're going to get four, closer to five. Honestly, I'm pretty sure mm. when I talked to Shane on our interview, you go back and look at that video, I yeah. think he's saying this is probably a little bit older. But um, okay. anyway, yeah. what? I, I, I still regret missing that interview. You missed out a heck of a time. I, I'll tell you what, interview. I will say that they are doing some cool stuff at their distillery. Um, I really I, like the distillery. And I wouldn't be surprised to see, like... Some of the Aurora end up in some of the Morven, and then they get married together. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's no telling. So I know nah, they are definitely sticking true to a traditional ways, traditional methods, and they're not sharing anything with anybody right now. They are they are strictly focused on putting out their product, and, yep. and so you're not going to find this in independent bottlers. You're not going to find it in blends. Well, they're, only, they're, all, they're all making 120,000 liters a month. Right. Years, so. They're not cranking out a ton of it. Three or four guys, right? Or something. Yeah, it's like four <laughs> guys that are running the whole thing. So. Um, Let me get price in this, by the way. I don't even remember. So 65. There you go. So 65 go. bucks for a 46 percent natural fill. Natural N non chill filter, non natural color, young, young scotch. All right, yeah. I just so gotta put it this. out there, it doesn't matter. So let's right. talk about this. It's obviously light color because it hasn't had a whole lot of barrel exposure. I mean, exposure. look at that. Yeah, almost it's almost clear. So I don't know what it was finished in. I, I have to just assume bourbon barrel, mm -hmm. ex bourbon barrel, ex bourbon barrel, nothing. I mean, Apples. obviously, you know what I'm surprised by? It's very, Apples and onions. I, I get a I, sweet I get fruitiness about it. Yeah, so I'm not getting any, any peat on the nose, right? I'm getting like. Uh, apples and hint. onions, kind of the hint seaweed. Hint. Onions? Yeah. It's, it, I, I think, Stick I, your nose way down in there and take a big old smell. I think You'll is, get is, it. It's the apples are and the sea kind of going together making an onion. I mean, I'll, give, I'll give you a little onions. I, I can I, get I give that. apple. Like, more, more, I get, probably more chives. I get poached pear on this one. Poached pear? Poached pear? Leave it to the chef. Um, well, it's like cooked. It's it's a softer smell. I know what you're saying. Smell, you know what I mean? I definitely get that. But I can get a little bit of peat. And when they say lightly, yeah. it's light. Um, I'm going to give this just a heartbeat it's, to open up. It smells salty, too. I like that, though. I love smelling a little bit of brininess in my scotch. <laughs> That's sweet and app fruity and clean. That's a really interesting first first. That's something set. else I'm trying to get out no, of this. Peat is, is hard to find in there. It, it's there, but it when they say light, they mean light. It's only on the finish. Yeah, it's like green I, So as, as, it, as it sits in my mouth, then that peat kind of rises up at the end. I'm getting But I think the, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they kind of let the fruit come forward yeah. a little bit. Which and the, the smoky part I is like there that. just on the back that's end. Hard to do. I was just going to say that's, that's unique. Nice. Usually, yeah. uh, a peated scotch, you know, what hits you first? That's nice. The peat is what's up front, right? So the, the fact that this is so lightly peated, you don't even catch it until the end. Well, that's really <laughs> to nice. me, it's more like a, a traditional Highland would have been. Like, you know what I mean? 
they're trying to make a lighter, fruitier scotch. The 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 peating is incidental because of the fuel that they're using, yeah. but it's not. They're not trying to it's make not, it right intentional. Big, sure, you know what I mean. They're not putting it out front. They don't want the peat to over right. power their scotch. Um, and this is as far north of a highland as you're going to get, right? Yeah. And this is like Granny Smith apples all the way for me. Really? And then it, but then I it smell turns a into bit. that smoke and that white pepper on the. On the See, you know, now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Put now, it down and come back to the it. second now I'm sip. getting some vanilla. I'm getting some oak coming out of this. Yeah. It, it's yeah. getting more complex I'm as getting I said. more sip barreling, there. yeah. I'm getting the, the barreling. The second sip, out of this. I, got, I got a little more vanilla. I've still got the apple. The apple comes <laughs> forward. I out, lost yeah. the pear now. But I'm getting more of the of the peat coming through on the back end with some with some pepper and some clove. It's it's so one of the very hardest interesting glass. Th- one of the hardest things I've seen to do in That's scotch good. is to with a peated scotch is to be able to have have subsequent sips have that that new mouth taste that apple or the sweetness or whatever they're going for in the in the initial palate and then then it transitions to peat and then take another sip and it refreshes it into that apple. And this one, I think, is doing that. That's interesting. It took me a while to get that. Because, it it, because it's lightly oh. peated. But it's there. It took what? a while for me to get that. The, the maturation, the, the oak, you, you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's kind of standard for any, especially a peated whiskey, you know, uh, up front. And you, you let it air for 60 seconds, two minutes, three minutes, and all of a sudden you start getting a little bit of that barreling that mm. comes out, right? Mm-hmm. I love that finish. Wow. This kind of sneaks up on you, a little, little peat there in the it's, end. It's it definitely lightly peated. It's it even is good with water. And I, I was forty six percent right. I mean, I figured forty six percent it could hold a little bit of water, but it is very oh, lightly peated. More vanilla. It, it's no, very no, no, no. fruity. So I thought that we'd maybe lose a little bit. It really didn't lose anything oh, with the water. That water really helps that nose really tame it down, and open honey. up the sweetness. God, that's crazy. Lemon. Wow. Yeah. It's yeah, a lot. That's it's a lot more fruity than like, now. That's sweetened it up big. It's crazy. It, it's amazing. You know, I, I uh, wow. I go with my friends all the time, and they're like, they're not big scotch guys, but they're trying. I'm like, just put a couple drops. They're like, what really changes? And I'm like, I know, right? It's crazy right. what a couple drops does right. to scotch. Better or worse. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, going to change it. <laughs> right. Oh. You're going to either be really happy or really sad. And that's oh, fine, that's so as long as you know. You know what the most exciting thing about this bottle is? Is that these cats are just getting started. Oh, they, they are. are. They they are. are. Like in 10 years, 15 years, it, it's going to be a We've whole different deal. We've enjoyed every bottle so far. Yeah. yeah, and I really enjoy what they're doing and their their philosophy towards Now, stock. they've got some special bottlings that they do, um, some mm-hmm. annual special mm-hmm. bottlings, and I can't think of the name right now. It escapes me. I know we talked about it in the interview uh, video that we've got out. You guys go back and take a look at that. Mm. Actually, if we're good enough, Drew might put it right here. But um, (laughs) anyway, uh, they do a special bottling outside of this three range, and I'm pretty sure those are pretty soft. I mean, they're going Mm. pretty fast. They're hard to find. I'm, I'm kind of after this one. I'm hoping to get the Scotch for Dummies barrel. Right. (laughs) (laughs) That will not be for sale. It's interesting now. I'm getting, um, I know we got to start our reviews, but I'm getting almost like a, a toffee finish too, a little bit. Like a caramel toffee. Hmm. See, I, well, I, I, now that the sweetness is wafted off, I get a lot of that that green apple. That's what, I, that's what I'm getting a lot of apple. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting how it's not getting, it, it came immediately for me, for me and you guys It'll after be, a few minutes. You know, the other thing that you'll have to think about is as this ages a little bit more, you are going to lose a little bit of that peat. So it'll be interesting to see how this evolves as it ages two, three, five years, what they end up with. And that fresh, juicy apple may walk away as well. I'm ready. Yeah. Walk away. Well, I'm being ready, ready too. Yeah. Yeah, I think You're so. Ready. Go ahead. Right. I love the scotch. This is great. Um, nose was amazing. <laughs> I said it earlier, the apples, the, the Granny Smith thing, I think I said. Mm-hmm. It was so potent. I didn't really get a whole lot of peat, but it was some there. But the, the, the palate, man, I took this in. Sweet roll into that little, hey, there's a little peat for you. Yeah, he's <laughs> that little peat right, right here. Bit, right here. It was awesome. It, I loved it. Um, a little peat right here. A little peat for you. It was a great little finish. Um, I really enjoyed it. I was searching a little bit for more stuff because there's more things in there. Um, and then once the water was in there... Got a little more vanilla. I mentioned toffee. It was in there in the palate. I really love this scotch. I think the 46 is perfect for it. Um, I think maybe airing it out, it'd be even more. I think as we sit here, we're going to get some more stuff out of this one. It's more complex than we think it is. 
but I really enjoy what I'm getting out of this one. Uh, it is 46%. It is 65? 65 $65. 65 NAS. NAS. Don't worry about it. 65 for this. I think it is well worth the price. I'm going to give this one a strong 3.5. I really like this one. Really good. All right. I, uh, I'm very happy with this scotch. <laughs> and, you know, you never know what you're going to get with an NAS. No, yeah. Because it is a younger scotch. And, and you get rough edges and you get... You know, sometimes they take a shot in the dark and it doesn't work out. But I think these guys are doing a great job of, of putting out a quality product that they can stand behind, and I can appreciate that. Um, I really like this scotch all the way around. Uh, neat with water. The nose was great. The palate was great. It had fruitiness. It had character. It, it apparently just a little... Well, little tap of the pee, you know, a little something. How you doing? Uh, but it, it was enough that it kind of rounded it out and it gave it some complexity, especially to a younger scotch that, you know, they, they do need, I don't want to say a helping hand, but, um, you know, this has got a few different characteristics going on. It'll be interesting to see how it progresses and ages. I wouldn't mind putting aside, like, a small bottle and just sticking it up on the shelf and then coming back to this expression with a new release in, in three like three years, or five yeah, years yeah. and see what the difference is because I, I'm sure you that it's it. going to change and, and be completely different. That being said, I, I like what they're doing. I'm going to give it a three. I, I thought it was good. I think it will get better with age and I'm very excited about what this distillery is doing. I'm stuck. I'm stuck between a number. And that happens all the stink of time, right? But yeah, this is not. This is this is good. I'm stuck on a number. It's between three and three five. I don't know where I'm gonna go. I, maybe I'll talk myself into. It. So, I'm really impressed with how complex it is at its age. All right, it, there's been a lot of changes going on since we poured this. This this thing has changed probably four or five times. It's gone up and down for me, right? And I think what what hurts is it it goes up on the nose, down on the palate, up on the palate, down on the nose, and I'm like, God dang it, come together, and and I can really get get a hold of you. Um, it's really interesting though, and uh, as I'm finishing up here, as you're you're finishing up, I stick my nose and I, I get that real soft peat, and I'm like, I honestly, I'm, this is no comparison. I don't want to say the word, but it, I, I smell like a really really soft Ardbeg in it. I mean, I just really yeah. soft peat way off in the distance yep. from from a distance, and I was like, seaweed. it's so nice, right? And that's what they're trying to do here. That's what Shane yeah, he yeah. reached out to do. So I, I really got a compliment him on that. Um, the granny apple that I'm getting in it, uh, everything's good. The water killed the the palate a little bit for me. I love the nose. Um, it softened the palate up, and and all I got was uh, was the end of the peat. And that's cool. And uh, but I wanted that. I wanted the flavor up front. So I'm really torn, guys. I'm stuck. Between three and three five, I'm probably leaning towards a three, but I'm leaning towards a three five because I actually got a chance to talk to Shane, and, and I really appreciate <laughs> that. Should so we come good. back to you? Yeah, come back to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm pour me Mark, another glass. I'm where Mark is um, because this this is really well done, and you know I'm not going to repeat everything everyone else said in the interest of time, but what I will say that, just, that nobody's talked about is the alcohol burn. Young Scotch, forty six percent. What do you expect? Alcohol. I'd expect yeah. to burn the shit out of me. Did you get that? No. no. Not one. We did. I don't know how no. they do that. So typically right. a well peated scotch. I think you just you answered that? your question right here. Um, <laughs> they're getting a refill. <laughs> so I'm, you know, to give a, a young a three to five year old scotch a three five seems generous. But I, I've i never had a young scotch like this that is this, that is this good. So I'm gonna go with three or five on this. So I nice shot. I have to say I'm glad you just just said that because the entire time I felt like oh crap I just gave this a three five and then you went and then you went and then you went and I was like I'm good with that actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. I was gonna keep it going down, no. but I think honestly what got me was the surprise of it. The the it's a really good balance of all of that and the price point, which is kind of what we're going for as well, right? Yeah. It's worth it. It's unique yeah. enough. It's, it's worth it's it. In interesting enough. It is. It's there for a three five. Yeah, for me. yeah. I mean, just it, pushing it. Ignore, ignore the price. Say this was a thirty year old scotch. If you could get this scotch for sixty five dollars, go buy it. It's a you, good you, buy. You, you yeah. gotta try this. This is real good stuff. It's so, worth sixty five dollars all day. Woo, I, I think it will end up on one of our top ten lists of the year. It, it, it definitely will. It, so it far. needs to be. I get it. 
Are you gonna pick a number? All right, so let's just give this thing a pocket three five and call it. A there three. it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I only gave it a three. So I gave it a three five. What do you got? Three point three seven five. Come on, touch that Don't make fun up. of me in this. Three five three. Three, it's five. a good scotch, guys. I, I, this three, is five. this is good. I, I'm I'm loving it. All right, here three, we four, go. Seven, five. Boys, guys, there you go. Wolfburn, Morvin. Hit the subscribe button, like button. Every Thursday we are live. Thanks, I guys. can't wait till we get to this distillery.